Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. When you hear the name lion, you only think of a brown big animal living in the wild with lots of hair, massive jaws, and claws. Well, what you might not know is some different species of lions are completely different from the ones we usually see on TV or in zoos. From some extremely rare subspecies to lions of almost mythical status, join us as we show the five most unique lions from around the world. Number 5. Liger Many beautiful animals are created by humans and are not found naturally. One of these amazing creatures, which are absolutely abnormally large, is the liger. Yes, liger as in lion and tiger. In this particular case, this is a male lion combined with a female tiger. Now you might think that this kind of fusion is made up, but it is very real. The liger is distinct from the similar hybrid called the tigon and is the largest of all known extant felines. They enjoy swimming, which is a characteristic of tigers, and are very sociable like lions. Notably, ligers typically grow larger than either parent species, unlike tigons, and they grow up to be almost twice as big as their parents. That's right, twice. The largest liger in existence right now is named Hercules, which is quite appropriate given the figure of Hercules in Greek mythology. Hercules is found in Myrtle Beach's Safari Wildlife Preserve in South Carolina. His stats are very impressive. For just in terms of length, he is 10 feet long, and in terms of height, he is 4 feet tall. He weighs over 900 pounds. Now imagine yourself standing next to Hercules and see just how massive and ferocious he is close up. How do you think you'd feel? I think I'd be a bit scared, probably. Despite being in captivity, Hercules is shown to run 55 miles per hour and has a running leap of over 40 feet. Hercules also has the world record for being the largest cat in the world today. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 4. Asiatic Lion As we say the word lion and ask you where lions live, two answers you'd likely give us are that they live in zoos and Africa. For the most part, you'd be absolutely correct. Most of the lion species reside in Africa, however, there is a small sect of them that lives in Asia, hence they were given the name Asiatic Lions. As for where these particular species of lions reside, they live in a forest in India, known as the Gir Forest. Quite interestingly though, the Asiatic lions did not start in India, but rather that's where they ended up. At one point in time, they roamed in the Middle East of Asia, before slowly being hunted to near extinction and pushed to where they are now in the Gir Forest. It is ironic though that the Gir Forest was once the hunting ground for the royals of India to go and kill the lions, but now the entire forest where the lions are located is reserved to keep the lions alive as their numbers are still very small. Though they are endangered, their current population is said to be stable, a far cry from where they were some time ago. In May of 2015, the 14th Asiatic Lion Census was conducted over an area of about 20,000 square kilometers, and the Asiatic Lion population was estimated at 523 individuals. The 15th Asiatic Lion Census could not be conducted in 2020 as scheduled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Asiatic Lion can be longer than how a human is tall and can weigh up to 500 pounds, as well as live a life of 18 years and sometimes even longer. Number 3. Barbary Lion In the world today, preservation and defending of various animals from illegal poaching and hunting is a paramount endeavor, and one of the reasons that people feel so strongly about it is the loss of animals such as the Barbary Lions. The Barbary Lions are also called North African Lion, Berber Lion, Atlas Lion, and Egyptian Lion, and at one point in time, the Barbary Lions used to roam in the northern part of Africa including places like Egypt and Maghreb. Their numbers were quite populous in history, however with the arrival of firearms and gunpowder in the region, the ability to kill the lions became much more plausible. Rampant hunting erupted in the region, and the results of that unrestricted hunting were the unfortunate extinction of the Barbary lions from that region. To be clear, regionally extinct animal means that animal is not anywhere in the region it is associated with, but it is not extinct globally. However, the numbers of Barbary lions in the world today are very small. 
Most of them now reside in zoos in an attempt to breed and rebuild the population. As for what the Barbary lions are like physically, you'd be surprised to know that the lion could grow up to 9 feet in length, and there's a wide variety of color and mane sizes, and some hunters stated they could weigh over 600 pounds. Before we get into today's subscriber pick, we have an honorable mention that is very likely to shock you. Transvaal Lion The Transvaal Lion is a subspecies of lion that tends to reside in the Kruger National Park, Lane Royal National Park, and the Kalahari region of Africa, though they are named after the Transvaal region of the continent. In some parts of Africa, where Transvaal lions used to originally live, their population are regionally extinct, just like in Lesotho, Djibouti, and Eritrea, and threatened by loss of habitat and prey base, killing by local people in retaliation for the loss of livestock, and in several countries, also by trophy hunting. On the surface, they might seem like just another species of lion, however, they are the only species of lion that exists in the world today and suffers from a very rare disorder known as leucism which is a condition in which there is partial loss of pigmentation in the animal, resulting in white, pale, or patchy coloration of the skin, hair, feathers, scales, or cuticles, but not the eye. If you are familiar with the condition called albinism, then you are right in the ballpark of what leucism is. However, this is not the same kind of condition, as leucism happens due to the deficiencies across many different pigments, whereas albinism is just the deficiency of melanin. Having such a rare condition in this breed of the lion makes them really special, even though the deficiency is rare in the breed itself. A slightly more positive feat came for Transvaal lions in 1936, when a hunter killed a Transvaal lion and found that it weighed a staggering 690 pounds, which makes this particular lion the biggest lion ever found. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online, you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. White Lion At first, you might think that the term white lion refers to a lion with a condition called albinism, but that's not true. We've already described in this video that albinism is the condition in which the melanin pigment that gives your body color is absent, which results in a white to the pale coloration of the skin. Although albinism affects many species of animals around the world, you'd be surprised to find out that there's a special species of lion named the white lion which comes from the South African lion subspecies. Unlike in albinism, white lions are a product of a rare gene mutation within the species. Moreover, those who have albinism are known to have genetic defects such as deformation of somebody's structures, lower mental capabilities, and more. These defects will result in the albino animal dying at a young age, usually from a disease or sickness like cancer. Yet this does not happen to the white lions as they live long and happy lives. Some white lions are even taken by the Global White Lion Protection Trust and reintroduced back into the wild in which they lived happy lives without the fear of being outcast or hunted by humans. Another unique thing about the white lion is that their mutation can make them have many shades of color, including being pure white to all the way being pure blonde. Number 1. Ethiopian Lion There are many places in Africa where lions once roamed but are now believed to be devoid of lions due to poaching, habitat issues, and the natural life of the world and Ethiopia is one such place. At one time in history, there were numerous lions in the region of Ethiopia known as the Ethiopian Lions, and these particular lions stood out from the pride due to their sometimes unique colorings. Over time, they just seemed to have vanished from the face of the continent, leaving many to wonder if they were gone for good. However, recent findings showed that these lions are alive, but in small numbers. In one case, a group of lions just wandered into the Alatash National Park and shocked a lot of people with their presence because they didn't think that lions still existed in Ethiopia. The confirmation that lions exist in the area is exciting news. Born Free Foundation said in a statement with the numbers of lions declining steeply across most of the continent of Africa, the discovery of a previously unconfirmed population of Ethiopian lions is very important. The other thing that separates the Ethiopian lions from others is that they occasionally have the ability to be all black in their fur color. A photo of one such lion was shown on the internet once, but was later proved to be a hoax. However, the idea of it really happening is not far-fetched, as it does happen to the Ethiopian lions under the right conditions. 
but they are very rarely seen and no official documentation of this kind of lion has been put forth. These are some of the most unique lions in the world. What do you think about these species of lions? Which one stands out the most for you? Tell us in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.